Another thing I like to point out is, even though it's, an, it's nice, as these wear in or as he moves, it tends to do this and it's hanging on the mechanical uh, connection that warn your would-be rescuers, you need to occasionally check that it may be out of the holster and occasionally check your, your connection here that it will back off on you. Again, this is new, but the uh, connections do back off on you. So as Joe turns around, you'll also see the, the single stage pressure, pressure reducing block. And most guys will be able to understand that how big is the block that's on your back? You've got that big long block on your back. Here we have just a single stage pressure reducer. There is no backup pressure reducer. That this is it. And this whole system is part of your backup. That's why we don't have a backup. It reduces weight, it reduces cost, and it is a backup in, in and of itself. So before I set him up on his umbilical, we talked about the Prusik, we talked about transferring the load from mechanical fitting directly to circumferentially around the rubber itself, so we don't have that break at the connection point. Before I put him on the umbilical, I want him to bump test. So I would explain and demo, turn that on, make sure he's got air, he can crack the purge valve. He, know, he, he knows that his, his harness and his bottle is good. He's obviously looked at the regulator, he's at the, the gauge, he knows he's got air in it, but he knows it's working properly. Now I put him on the umbilical, so he's done that bump test first, and he's aware that uh, it is coming from the bottle. Because if I put him on that, that, that umbilical, it, it's gonna override the bottle. He doesn't want, um, if there, especially if there's any leak by, he doesn't want a false, false uh, concept that that bottle is working and that regulator is working properly. Bye.